Hi there, Justin Turhune here with Anaba Danko America, and thank you for tuning in for another Tips and Tricks install video. Now, today's video, we are going to look at condenser risers versus condenser brackets. Hopefully, by the end of the video, you'll have a better idea of which one's going to work best on your next install. So, we'll dive right in, and we will start with Anaba Danko America's Plow Rock Condenser Risers. Uh, now, these are a heavy duty but lightweight, weather resistant PVC. Uh, we've got the open channel design here. This allows us to withstand outdoor temperatures up to 120 degrees and still maintain our integrity. Okay. All the plow rock comes with prepackaged nuts, bolts, and washers, and they all have an integrated channel in the top. Okay. Uh, that allows your nut to slide underneath your bolt and washer on top. Uh, and we're able to slide that back and forth to easily line up with the feet on the outdoor unit, okay? The plow rock is available in three different sizes. We've got 14 and a quarter inch, which can hold up to 309 pounds, uh, 17 and three quarters, which can hold up to 397 pounds, and then we go all the way up to 39 inches, and this can withstand 882 pounds. So, uh, we've got a plow rock to fit every application out there okay you're going to use this typically on a ground or a roof mount system um, where you don't have the ability to mount it to the wall okay uh, there are a couple add-ons for the plow rock uh, number one is our prc and this is our end cap okay so it does make the job look better but it also keeps the leaves and debris out of there so the job looks better a lot longer okay uh, outside of that, we've also got our PRP retainer clamps, okay? So whether it's a concrete pad or a plastic pad, you can slide these in here and you can mount the plow rock to the ground. If it does get bumped or you're in a high traffic area, make sure that these feet don't move um, after the application's installed, okay? And then lastly, we've got the GPS anti-vibration pad. It is a four by four pad, same size as our plow rock and it's got a 5 8 hole already in it. So this will fit in between the outdoor unit and the plow rock, give us added layers of anti-vibration, okay? So that's it for the plow rock. Now we'll look at the condenser riser, okay? This is our CGK, um, and this can withstand up to 176 pounds, all right? This is able to be adjusted from 19 inches up to 39 and 3 8 so it's specially designed for your one, one and a half, up to two ton units, okay? Um, maybe you've got a small two ton with two heads. Um, this is gonna be your go-to, okay? So once we've got our mounting bracket, uh, our support bracket on the wall, um, this will hook on just like you're used to. A couple differences here. A, uh, we've got a set bolt up top here to make sure once we're measured out, this is not gonna slide while we're trying to install our unit, okay? Uh, another cool feature here is most of the brackets like this on the market just slide down. This one then clamps in. That is a very tight mechanical fitting, so we're secure here and we're secure here. Now we can tighten up this bolt as well. Uh, we've got built-in anti-vibration pads with nuts, bolts, and washers, so we can easily adjust uh, to the legs of the outdoor unit. And then lastly, we've got one more set screw right here, okay? That set screw is attached to yet another anti-vibration point, okay? So this will do three things. A, it's gonna make sure that our metal is not touching the customer's property. B, it's gonna allow us to level our unit away from the wall. And C, it's gonna give us a really important added anti-vibration contact point. So we've got anti-vibration here, here, and here. Anywhere we're making pressure contact, we've got anti-vibration, okay? This is probably the best uh, wall mount bracket on the market, in my opinion, and I am biased. Um, and it does come with the lag bolts and washers. Uh, if you're mounting to a brick or concrete home, please make sure you're using the proper uh, anchors for that application, okay? Um, that's it for today's video. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I highly encourage you, check out the full product offering at anabadanko-america.com. I can only fit so much on my table here. 
Uh, and if you have questions, please reach out to us at either LinkedIn or Instagram. We love to communicate with you. We love to answer your questions and we really love to get your feedback. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.